Hey, hey, friends, it is Thursday, which is my Friday, yay, which means it's time for another five minute rounds. This is a case of a five month old dog that had a sublingual swelling for one month duration. So they went ahead and aspirated that swelling underneath this dog's tongue. So it's a very nice cellular sample, and I'm just going to scroll around a little bit so you can see, kind of get a good feel for what we're looking at here. And when we pop in, I'm actually going to go back to 10x in just a second, but I want you to see what these nucleated cells are. We can we can start to see what they are from this objective, but let's get a little bit closer for you so you can see better. And a lot of these cells are these big foamy guys, which you can see have um, this vacuolated cytoplasm, they kind of have these rounded borders, lots of vacuolated cytoplasm. Some of them are binucleated, a lot of them just have one nuclei. But these are a type of inflammatory cell. So be thinking about what kind of cell you think that is. Nice foamy cytoplasm, single to binucleated. We have one here that looks like it has three nuclei, but that's not uncommon in macrophages. So these are actually inflammatory macrophages. We've also got a fair number of neutrophils in here as well. So all these little guys with the segmented uh, nuclei inside are neutrophils and just a prove it to you. I'll go up to oil real quick so that you can see them a little bit better. Come on oil. Oh take your time going across. There we go. <laughs> so neutrophils here. All these little little doodads are neutrophils. Um, and then we'll go look at these macrophages a little bit more. So nice foamy um, cytoplasm inflammatory macrophages. So combination of macrophages and neutrophils are the majority of the cells in this sample. And we've got an occasional small lymphocyte popping in there as well. Okay, I'm gonna back up again and show you, let's scan over here, um, some other important parts of this cytology. So this is inflamed, right? So we've got macrophages, neutrophils, that's the majority of the cells here. So definitely inflammation. That's not specific for anything in particular, but we have to keep in mind where we are location-wise in this dog. This is a swelling underneath its tongue. And then we start to notice another clue. And it's these pools of this basophilic kind of amorphous material scattered throughout this sample. And you're like, hmm, you know, basophilic protonaceous material in itself is not specific either. You know, it's like, okay, I see some basophilic stuff. But in this case, it makes a lot of sense based on what we're seeing in the location we're at. And I'll tell you what that is in just a second. But one other thing I want you to notice is that there is wind drawing in the sample, which we've talked about in another five minute rounds, where we've got lining up of the red blood cells in these rows. It's called wind drawing, which means that this sample, um, this fluid is viscous. So one of the types of fluids that you can see viscosity in, and you can see wind drawing in, here's some really nice wind drawing. Here you can actually see that these macrophages are doing a little Congo line, lining up. These mac uh, neutrophils are doing the same, but everybody's lined up. It's very viscous. One type of fluid that you might see, or that you typically will see viscosity with, is saliva. So then you think, oh, well, those pools of blue, well, those that's saliva. So all of this together makes a lot of sense that we're actually dealing with a salivary mucosal. So blue saliva is outside of the where it should be, um, and it's eliciting this significant inflammatory response um, in, at this location. And we've got this sample viscosity, which further supports that this is a salivary mucosal. So the fact that we're under the tongue makes this a ranula. And I remember when I was an intern, <laughs> I had no idea what a ranula was. I remember my senior clinician, we had a dog that had this big swelling underneath its tongue. And I remember him saying, well, what, what is that? It's very obvious. It's classic. And I was like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I had no idea what a ranula was. So, you know, if you've never heard of a ranula, don't feel bad. But a ranula is just a term for a salivary mucosal that's particularly underneath the tongue. Um, and you can have salivary mucosils, of course, in the submandibular region and pharyngeal region. But in this case, we've got one under the tongue. So very cool case. Nice classic cytology. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've ever seen this before, let us know. Um, you know, let everybody know in the comments. But I will see you at the next five-minute rounds.